This next video I have for you was created for beginning students that are just learning how to use the 1112 Explorer on patients for the first time. Now, no, we do not expect that you know what calculus feels like. It is a very hard thing to feel when you're just starting out. So this video is to break down what is it that you are feeling with your 1112 Explorer? Is it a restoration? Is it calculus? Is it a crown? Is it the C-E-J? So follow along as we go step by step into all the different details as to how to decipher what are you feeling with the 1112 Explorer. How to detect if you're on a crown margin. The blue is gonna represent the crown margin and as you explore it, it will dip in and then you're gonna go straight down. As you go up, it will dip out as you go straight up. If you're not sure if it's the crown, feel the entire margin on the straight buckle, lingual, you'll be able to feel that margin all the way around and that's gonna help you know that you are on a crown margin, not calculus. How to know if you are on a restoration? So the blue is gonna represent the restoration. It's gonna feel exactly like it does with the crown where you're gonna go down, it will dip in and then go straight down. To come up, it will dip out and then go straight up. Now, if you are still not confident you're on a restoration, you still feel like you're on calculus, look at the x-rays. I like to look at the x-rays and go, okay, how far down does the restoration go from the contact of the teeth? And I can say, okay, probably two millimeters it goes down. If I'm feeling like it's at the base of the pocket where I'm feeling this calculus or this jump, then I know I probably am on calculus and not restoration. So use your x-rays too to help guide you with that one. Are you on a fraction or abrasion area? A lot of students get this confused. So with this, you know that the tooth will actually dip inwards. So as you're exploring, if your explorer goes in and then out, in and then out, that is something that you know you're dipping into the tooth and that is not calculus. You are just on that F fraction. I think it's the part that confuses them is when they dip in, that they come out so much that they feel like they have to be on calculus. But really, you're just in a fraction area or, or an abrasion area. And the trickiest of all is going to be the CEJ. Students are always confusing this with calculus. So we know that the cementum enamel junction happens very differently with everybody. It's not always the same. So I'm gonna go over different types of CEJ meetups. So this one's gonna be where the cementum will actually overlay the enamel. This happens in about 60% of patients. So when you're gonna explore it, you go down, it will come out a little bit, and then you'll go down. Okay, and that is going to be in about 60% of your patients. And the next type that you're gonna see is where the enamel and the cementum meet up perfectly. Now this will happen in about 30% of patients. And as you go down and you're exploring, you might not feel any of the CEJ. It might just feel nice and smooth when you're exploring that. Again, this will be in about 30% of patients that you'll see this happen. The next type is where the enamel and the cementum actually do not meet at all. Now this will happen to about 10% of patients. So as you explore, you'll go down, it will dip in, and then it will dip out. And again, this will happen to about 10% of patients where you will feel this type of CEJ. And it is also so microscopic that you actually might not even feel it dip in at all. One way to really understand what the CEJ feels like is get a, a real tooth that has been extracted. Go to, the, go to an oral surgeon, ask them if you can use real teeth, if they have any that you can practice on. And you'll just explore it and you'll see that you can always feel this little bit of a ledge where the CEJ is. And you can follow it all the way around the buckle and the lingual. And that's a good way to figure out what does the CEJ feel like. And now finally to feel, what does calculus feel like when you're exploring it? Now, it's gonna feel a lot like a little tiny mountain where you go down, it peaks and goes down again. Come up, you feel it, and so each way you're gonna feel it peak, okay? So you can feel it when you come up and when you go down. Now, if you're on burnished calculus, it's gonna feel very smooth. 
It's not gonna feel like you have that peak to it. It's gonna feel extremely smooth as you're going on it. That is a very tough type of calculus to feel. And then there's the grainy type of a calculus that when you go down, it feels like you're on a whole bunch of pepper flakes. It's just very tiny, grainy. It doesn't feel like it jets out very much like a mountain, but your explore just doesn't feel like it's on anything smooth. Visual Dental Hygiene was created to make instrumentation easier to understand through videos. That is how I know I have the correct end. I always want the peak of my mountain to be towards the posterior teeth. this tooth and we cut it directly in half. The middle point of this tooth is going to be the long axis. We have broken down each instrument step by step so you fully feel confident on how to use each instrument. You see how I'm creating the triangle here? One part of the triangle I'm towards the opposite arch. The other part of the triangle I'm towards the arch I'm working on. So when you're probing we should always be seeing your handles moving up and down just like this, because you're creating one side of the triangle, the other side of the triangle. We have instruments on the 1112 Explorer, the Paradonal Probe, the Sickle Scalers, the Universal Curettes, and Area Specific Curettes. So how do you become a member? You can go to visualdh.com, and that's where you can get more information on how to become a member of our program. We look forward to working with you, and we're very excited for you to be the most confident hygienist.